we're getting to start our next chapter of the book, doing it a little bit out of order that's in the book. Try to tie things back together from last year first. So the first thing we're going to talk about is slope-intercept form of a linear equation, graph of a reminder from last year. The slope-intercept form is the y equals mx plus b form, where m is going to be the slope of our line, b e is the y-intercept. Again, from last year, the slope of the line gives us this. We also called it the rate of change of the graph, or the we said the slope of a non-vertical line is equal to the line's rise, that's where it's run, down over We write as delta y over delta x. That triangle, that Greek letter delta, means change in. Slope, addition in. Change in y, the change in. If the line is going uphill from left to right, slope will be positive. If our line is going downhill from left our slope. And if we have a line on a graph, I can just pick any two points where it crosses exactly coordinate. I can draw a right triangle and I can count squares to figure out what my change in y x are. And on the graph, you can also directly read the y intercept. So from the graph, you can get the values you need to. Right, equation times. Go through some practice. To I have a line on a graph. I want to calculate its slope. I really don't care what coordinates I pick as long as I pick things where the graph exactly crosses. It looks like it exactly crosses right here and um, a little bit below. I'm going to say it exactly crosses. If I want to calculate the slope of that line between those two points, I'm going to draw a right triangle. I'm just going to count squares. Up and down, I have 5, 10, 15. And horizontally, I have 5, 6, 8. Our slope, again, is the change in y over x. Change in y is my up and down. I change in x is my side to side. Slope would be 15. Okay, so that's how you calculate the slope from a graph. You need two points that you can read the exact coordinate. So, to do is I'm just going to make a couple more graphs. I'll actually flip it over again. And we're actually going to write the equations of the line to graphs. Just marking the plus, that's my origin. Horizontal. Okay. There. So, um, again, this is my y-axis, up and down. This is my x-axis, to right. So two things I need in order to write the equation of the line. Slope and its y-intercept. Y-intercept's the easiest one to get, the one that is where I cross the y-axis. 1, 2, positive 2. Now what I want to do is I want to find one other point that's exactly on the graph, on the coordinate plane, and it looks like right here, really close to the back, get its slope, count squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, slope, change in y, 
the change in x. Slope would be 5. Measure of the line would be 5 thirds x. Next one, I'm going to pick a point here. Pick a point here. I'm just going to go through there. Now, these two points are exact. Now, my y-intercept here is not exactly at a crisscross. So well, exactly. So I can approximate that one. But let's calculate the slope of this one. Slope. Count my squares. One, two, three, four. Going side to side, I have seven. My slope is my change in y or my change in x. Let's look at this. I, I'm going down. So that would be a negative. So my slope is negative 4 sevenths. My y-intercept here, approximately negative 0 0.5. Okay. When you're going to get them on the IXL or paper, you're going to actually get it. It's going to go through a point actually. My equation here would be y, negative 4 sevenths, minus 0 0.5. So the y-intercept, again, is where it crosses the y-axis. Slope, I calculate. It's up. So I'm going to, some general type questions where we can be asked is, I'm going to give you some equations. I want you to describe the graph. I want to know what the slope of the graph is. I want to know what the y intercept is. Okay. I'm just going to try. Thirds x plus 3. Any equation that I could write in this form is a linear equation. y equals mx plus b. Anything I can write in that form is always going to be a line. Slope, negative two thirds. My y intercept is. I'm going to write down three more equations um, that I'd like you to pause the video after write down the equations, try them on your own, then unpause the video to see what my answers are. Equations I'm y equals two x minus y equals negative x plus one y equals x minus 4. I'd like you to write those three equations down. Fill out the other three columns for me. While you have the video pause. And when you're done, pause it and check your answers. Well, you actually listened to me and paused it. Like I said before, all of these are linear equations. These are all going to make Later on this year, we're going to get graphs of other things that aren't lines. The slope is the number in front of the x. The x is a 2. Or in front of the x here is a minus 1. Or in front of the x here is a positive 1. Remember, we have those invisible ones multiplying in front of the x's. My intercept in the first case here would be minus 2. Plus 1, then minus 4. So those are the questions they can ask you. And they can also ask you, like these previous questions I gave you, A, here's a graph of a line. Give me its equation. I've already showed you those. And the um, last type of question we can have here is I can be given an equation and have to graph the line. So I'm going to take these four equations that we had before and we're going to graph them 
So the first equation I want to graph, y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take that piece of paper away and kind of flip it over to the graph paper side to make it easier for you to see the graph line. Rewrite the equation. Y equals negative 2 thirds. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do, and I'm actually going to hard line in the axes. Here's my y-axis. Here is my x-axis. And I'm going to use a pencil to graph these. So first thing you always want to do is you want to graph the y-intercept. Y-intercept is 3. Up 3. 2, 3. Then I'm going to use the slope to come up with the second point. This says to go down 2 and 3 to the right. Negative 2 thirds, down 2, right. We always go to the right. Negative or positive tells you whether we're going down, and we're always going to go down. We go down 2, 1, 2, 3 to the right. I do that, connect them with a straight edge. And then to show that it's a line, we are going to put arrows. First one I graph. Next one I'm going to do in red. That is y equals 2x minus 2. First thing that I graph again is y intercept. 2. That 2 is actually a 2 over a 1 which means I'm going to go up two to the right. I go up two, right, straight edge. Was the second graph. I'll do the third one in black. There's y equals negative x plus one means I have a y-intercept of 1. I have a slope of negative 1 over 1. The right one. Down 1. To the right one. And that's going to give me this line. And the final one, I'm going to do that one in pencil also. That is y equals x minus 4. And y-intercept in this case is minus 4. The slope is 1. I'm going to write as 1 over 1. That means up. Up 1 is to the right. Up 1. Right 1. Straight edge and make your so you need to be able to find the slope of a line if it's on a graph. They need to be able to graph slopes of line from linear equations. And I'm just going to point out again some things about slope. The line is going, we showed you this. If the line is going uphill, slope is positive. Downhill, slope is negative. If the line is going horizontal, slope is zero. Equations of lines like this would be just y equals some number, whichever the y-intercept. In this case, it's y equal. Okay. Then if I have a vertical line, slope is undefined. The equations for these lines, they're not functions. We're going to learn later why it's not a function. 
could be x equal to whatever the x is. That's it for the uh, first notes for our next chapter. So make sure you get these notes into your notebook and yeah, Excel practice.